Hello and welcome to this part of uh, uh, video tutorials on data structure and algorithms. Uh, we have uh, discussed insertion at beginning in our first part and in this part we will learn about insertion at some particular position. So we have seen this, we have done the complexity and now we will do insertion in between. So if the position is zero we can simply call add at big or addition at beginning described earlier. Now this will come then <coughs> the list is like what uh, maybe empty maybe not empty but if position is not zero then that means the list is clearly uh, not empty. That is, if position is greater than 0, then the list is clearly not empty. So what we do is, we move, we move forward in linked list using head is equal to head next till we reach our desired position or head next becomes null. Now what this means is, if we say head is equal to head next, so then again head is equal to head next and we are becoming null here. So head is actually right now pointing here and head next becoming null. So in this case, we cannot also add at the final position. Rather, we will have to use another logic for appending. That is, insertion at some position in its current form, which I am going to describe, will not be able to append. Although you can make it a pen, but the current code which I will show will not be able to do that. So suppose we want to insert at position 1. Now lists I have chosen as is a starting node being at 0. So data 1 is at position 0 and data is at position 1 initially. So <clears throat> suppose we want to insert something in between these two that is at position 1 and we want to move data to data that is this one to position 2. So how do we do that? So we iterate head is equal to head next and we have a counter and then the head is actually now here if head is head next we increase the counter and the position becomes 1. So now head is pointing to the position where x should be. So we malloc a new piece of element, let's say temp, and then we say head next is equal to temp. So uh, this will become, this x arrow will start pointing to this. Okay. So then we say that move this arrow here. So let's see the code. So uh, if position is 0, we add, go to add at beginning and otherwise what we do is we iterate while head next is not equal to null. So we do plus plus j and if j is equal to is equal to position. So in this case uh, uh, position is 1 in our case. So temp next is becomes head next. So this is head and this is head next, right? So temp next becomes head next so both will point to the same after this execution and then we say head next is equal to temp so head is this and next is this so next will point here so the arrow manipulation is done and then we simply copy the data and break the loop right and then we say head is equal to head next that is if we do not encounter a position and this goes on till we reach our position or head next becomes null. Now <coughs> this is a very easy to understand piece of code and I do not see there is anything complicated. Now let's try to understand the complexity analysis. I will not go into as much detail as last time I went. So as you can see these operations will take constant time this page. And in this page, this is also constant time because this will happen only once. What varies is this guy plus plus j and this guy and this comparison. So suppose there are n elements. 
in the linked list and suppose we have to iterate all of them to do the insertion then our worst case is order n because that will be typically how many 1 2 3 so c1 plus c2 plus c3 n so the constant m can be greater than c1 plus c2 plus c3 so as to cover everything and give us our upper bound so with this uh, i will uh, stop this video here in our next video we will see uh, appending and count and deletion all together in one go uh, and search also possibly deletion we will cover later but count search and uh, uh, appending so these three operations we will see in our next video on data structures and algorithms thanks for watching the video and uh, and one thing is that unless you program it yourself you will not feel confident and possibly you will not understand so the most cru uh, most crucial thing is this piece of data if you do not understand what this means that what this next pointer is actually you will not really be able to do this so thanks again for watching the video happy programming